will, you know, even though people might not understand it, but you'll remember this forever, mm -hmm. that Bobby Grace, Alan Ostrowski went in there and got the death penalty for Pedro Espinosa. Mr. Espinosa as, uh, as basically a cold-blooded killer, and he showed no emotion today. What's your reaction to his lack of? Well, I didn't spend a whole lot of time watching Mr. Espinosa today or his reaction, um, so I'll have to take your word for it. But I think over the course of his actions in this particular case, he's always demonstrated uh, how he feels about his gang and how he feels about taking an innocent life and how proud he is of that. Well, we know you, you were counting on the, the judge's ruling today. What's your reaction? Well, obviously, we're very happy that the just verdict that the jury came to, the judge upheld, and we're happy for the Shaw family that they're finally receiving the verdict and closure, and so we're obviously very pleased. Um, yes, it's been a long way. Mr. Shaw mentioned that it's been four years, and that's probably the biggest, the hardest part of um, some losing a son, someone in a violent manner and having to go through the, the, uh, the criminal justice system because the process um, takes a long time and they should be commended for being resilient uh, in the process and we want to thank um, all of the law enforcement uh, agencies that helped out with this, particularly LAPD, Wilshire Homicide and uh, Detective Mark Hogan who did a great job in terms of uh, putting the evidence together that allowed us to be able to get this conviction. Any idea how many LA County defendants are on death row presently? It's a lot. Well, I, I understand that the, the majority of the uh, people that are on death row are from Los Angeles County, but you have to keep in mind that um, Los Angeles County is, is um, the largest judicial district in the state and probably has the, the biggest gang problem and um, the highest um, robbery um, rate uh, and homicide rate uh, in the state. So you, when you balance those two, it would make sense that um, L.A. County would have the highest amount. Bobby, you have said that you're not a particular fan of the death penalty, is that right? No, um, and um, uh, I would not be prosecuting the case if I didn't uh, agree with it morally, but uh, I'm here representing the the, um, the office as a deputy is recurring, so I can't really answer any questions about my personal feelings on the death penalty. We got the death penalty, we got the, the verdict, the death penalty. That's all I can do. I'm going to vote no 134, and that's all I can do, if, you know. If what it goes the other way, will you be able to be at peace with yourself? You know, there's nothing I can do. So, yeah, I'll be upset. I'll be really pissed off because people, people think they have to experience it firsthand to understand what it feels like. You know, in my job I work at, we do a lot of preventive maintenance, you know, and that's what people need to do, you know, and everyone here that's against the death penalty, at the same time, you have to remember, what have happened to your kid, mm -hmm. your mother, your daddy, mm -hmm. would you have the same way you feel mm -hmm. today? Of course not, you know, there's no way you can feel the same way after you see your son dead in the street, bullet holes in his head, all his blood in the street. And then you're thinking people saying, well, it's, it costs too much. The same people who are complaining about it costs too much and it's, they're in there too long are the same people that are making it cost so much and extending the, the period, you know. And a lot of those people don't know what it feels like to lose a child or a mom or a dad, you know. You, you, you will change how you feel. It will be forced upon you. You will not be able to say, oh, well, uh, what would Jesus do? Not if your kid is dead, your mom, your dad. You won't feel the same way.